Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, to be honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is, uh, is an intransit but uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, by the end of this lesson, hope you be, I hope you'll be edified. This lesson is going to be entitled, Yeah, yeah, it's fun and games now, but bad times are coming. All right? Yeah, it's fun and games now, but bad times is coming. All right? And I say that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because that's what it is right now with you people, man. Okay? A lot of you people not seeking the Lord. You all about fun. You all about pleasure. You all about pleasing the flesh. All right? And you ain't want to walk in the spirit. You all about uh, 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 being in mirth. You all about partying in, 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 in that back of spirit. All right? You all about um, just going out and having a merry good time. But you ain't thinking about the times ahead. You're not discerning the time. You're not thinking about the Lord who is going to bring the judgment. All right? The scriptures say mercy and wrath come from the Lord. Okay? But you ain't not, you're not meditating upon the Lord. You're not meditating upon the times that's coming. So you're in that Baca spirit. You're in that, you're in that spirit of, of let's make mirth. Let's have a jolly good old time. All right? Let's continue to go to the clubs and, and just come home drunk pissy drunk, okay, not knowing yourself, party till you can't party no more, party like it's 1999, but you're not knowing that the scriptures say a sword is being sharpened and, and furbished to put into the hands of the slayer, okay, you're not knowing that the devil is getting ready to come down have a great wrath, okay, Revelation 12 and 12, because he knows that he have but a short time, you're not knowing about Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, which speaks of a time that, uh, that has that's never been before, that the earth is going to witness, as the scripture also tell you, man's heart failing them for the things that are coming upon the earth, okay, the scriptures say, knowing, okay, 2 Peter, the, 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 the third chapter, knowing that the elements shall melt with fervent heat, what manner of persons ought you to be, okay, you should be in all holy conversation and godliness okay uh, 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 you should be I should say in uh, Ephesians the 5th chapter you should be redeeming the time because the days are evil okay so yeah <laughs> yeah it's going to be all fun and games now but bad times are coming alright meaning evil times man alright evil times are going to come and that's the time that we're coming into. You see? So, I don't want to rant. Alright? I don't want to continue to rant. Let me get the scriptures. Right? This is the book of our... Uh, this is the book of 1 Thessalonians. Okay? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. And it says, <clears throat> For when they shall say peace and safety... Right? When you think you can continue to just continue having your fun and, 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 and party, party, party. Alright? You are you you in for a rude awakening, man. Okay? Because the Lord ain't with that. Alright? The Lord ain't with that when the scriptures say, uh uh, shall shall we then make mirth? Okay? <laughs> Knowing all these things are coming, shall we then make mirth? Alright? 
First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 it says for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape these are the times that you're getting ready to come into man okay the time of sudden destruction well you're not going to get away you're not going to be able to escape if you wasn't seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you ain't gonna be able to escape, man. All right, that's the time that we're coming into—a time like never before. You see? Yeah. All right, it's all fun and games now. Yeah, but guess what? Bad times are coming. Are coming, meaning evil times, man. All right, the word evil when you break it down is a compound word. All right, meaning bad times. Eve meaning uh. A time and ill meaning bad. You see? Let's go to the book of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. And we're going to uh, we're gonna get straight to the point. Right? Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 25. And it reads Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. It ain't gonna be no peace, man, because this is the time that you're coming to. This is the time that you're coming into. It was prophesied that in these times, in the latter days, man, in the last days, it was prophesied, right, in the New Testament. When you go to the New Testament, you go to the book of uh, 2 Timothy, right? The third chapter. It tells you what it's gonna be like in these times. And guess what? We're here. We are here. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 It says this know also That in the last days Right It says this know also That in the last days Perilous times shall come Right When you go into the word perilous It means dangerous Fierce Savage Okay Hard to take, hard to do these are the times that we're coming into, man. All right? The scripture says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Okay? All right? But even the righteous are going to be scarcely saved. Okay? But these are the times that we're coming into because the ways of the hearts of the people, man. All right? The scriptures tell you, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, because sentence against an evil work. All right? Let me go to that scripture real quick. Because this is, this is the mindset of the people. And then we're going to come back to 2 Timothy. Right? This is... Uh, we're going to come back to 2 Timothy, the third chapter. But this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. This is the mindset of the people, man. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart, meaning your mind, the Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil, right? Because they ain't punished on time. They feel like uh, 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 they just have free reign to do what they want to do. But no, we're living in a time of great judgment, man. Zephaniah, the third chapter in the fifth uh, verse, man. Every morning do we bring his judgment to light. You see, this is the time that we're in. You could think, you could think that you're getting away, but you're not. Let me grab that scripture real quick. And I'm going to come back there. All right. You're not going to get away, man. The Lord, the Lord's not playing, man. All right? This is the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. This is even the time that we're in right now. It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment, right, to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. You see, every morning uh, <laughs> he brings his judgment to light, man. And you see his, his, his works, man, because the Most High uh, is, 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 is in charge of all things. He's, he's the, uh, uh, he, he controls the issues of death, man. Okay? Our Lord told you a sparrow doesn't fall to, to the earth unless the Lord knows of it, man. He has to sanction that. You see? So going back, right? Going back to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, right? The eighth chapter, right? And it says, Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 11. 
It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right? It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahabashim Yahushai, which fear before him. Okay? So yeah, it's going to be well with those that fear before the Lord, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the scriptures tell you, say, where, 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 where that fear is present, it turns away wrath. So it would, it would behoove you to keep a healthy fear of the Lord, man. That keeps you in line, okay? And repent and turn back to the Lord, all right? Acts 3.19, repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah, fear the Lord, man. Repent and turn back to him, all right? But you're going to have two-thirds of our own people who not going to do it. They're not going to consider. They ain't going to uh, uh, change their ways. They're not going to amend their ways. But the scriptures say, uh, 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 a wise man heart discerned both time and judgment. Right? But you got our people walking around out here, okay, with their hair stuck up, they, they're, they're rare, man. Okay? And it's going to bring them to judgment because they don't want to seek the Lord. So going back to 2 Timothy, right? 2 Timothy, uh, the third chapter, Okay, again, these are the times that we're in. Uh, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, right? Because we got false prophets out here. We got men in love with themselves, okay? They, they, they love us of pleasures more than love of the lovers of the most high. As the scriptures say, we're going to read it, okay? And, and, and <laughs> this is what's going to bring, bring a lot of people to judgment, man. Okay, and it says, um, it says, verse 2, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away, from such turn away, man. Right now, it's time to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Get up out of these clubs, okay? Get up out of the, uh, 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 the, the, uh, a life of wickedness, of crime, and of violence, okay? Uh, 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 of uh, uh, perverseness. Turn to the Lord. Turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai with your whole heart, okay? That's what time it is, man, okay? It may be that you find a hedge of protection in the, in the day of his wrath, okay? Turn to the Lord and repent. 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 The Lord said, except you repent, you should likewise perish, man. So turn to the Lord, man. All right? Either or, because at the end of the day, the Lord say, he would rather you be hot, okay, or cold. Because if you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out, man. At the end of the day, the Lord ain't dealing with no middle ground. It's either you, uh, 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 either you with the Lord or you, you against him, as the scriptures say, man. All right? Let's get the... Uh, Let's get that real quick. The scripture said to prove all things. Okay, let's grab that real quick. Then we're going to go into the time that we're coming into, man. Jacob's trouble. Okay? A time so bad, we're going to need divine intervention. So this this is the reason why you, you got to, you got to, you got to, as the, the, the proverbial line is already drawn in the sign. So you got to choose which side you're going to be on, man. The scripture said, the Lord said you can't eat at his table and eat at the table of devils. So you're going to have to, you're going to, you're going to have to get out of neutral. And you're going to have to get into a gale. Okay? This is the book of Matthew, Matthew the twelfth chapter, and the thirtieth verse, right? So you're gonna choose. You're gonna have to who's, choose your side you on. This is red letter. This is our Lord speaking. It says, "He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad." Okay. So either you with the Lord or you ain't with him, man. You gotta choose who who you're gonna serve this day. All right. As for me and my house, all right, the brethren, okay, the the, the believers. We're going we gonna, to we gonna, uh, serve you how about Shemel Shai, man. And I pray the Lord keep the spirit on me to continue until the end, which is which is the prophecy say, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay? Uh, Matthew 24 and verse uh, 13. You got to endure. You got to suffer, man. Okay? Patiently, man. All right? So it is what it is, man. Okay? You got to take the low now so you, you don't be condemned with this world. 
Because what's coming to this world is punishments, uh, scourges, and judgments, man. That's what the Lord is bringing, punishment, scourges, and judgments, man, okay? To bring back righteousness in the earth, to cleanse the earth, to purify the earth, and bring righteousness to the earth, man, okay? He's going to do that by way of destruction and punishment, man, and, and, and cleansing and healing. The Lord said when he come, he come in with healings in his wings, but he's going to punish the wicked, man, okay? So just know, that, yeah, you you might be partying and living it up right now. You might be living your best life, so to speak, as they say. You're living your best life, all right? But guess what? You ain't thinking about the Lord. The scripture speaks about those that have um, received benefits but have not known me, meaning the Lord. As a matter of fact, let's go to that real quick. Let's grab that. You see? Before we get into Jacob's trouble, because a time is coming like never before. But let's go to the apocrypha real quick. Seeing that I mentioned it to the spirit and power of Yah, Bashem El Shai. Let's grab that precept and bring it out. Let's bring it our second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Okay? We're going to speak about the two, uh, the, 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 the elect, the one third, and we're going to speak about the two third because Zephaniah, uh, what's that? Zechariah, the 13th chapter and the eighth verse goes into that. How there's going to be a one third that's going to be delivered, which is the elect. And the two-thirds are going to stay on this side of the punish. That's talking about two-thirds of our own people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, who are Israelites. You're going to be destroyed on this side because you're not seeking the Lord. Okay? This is our second Ezra chapter 9, beginning at verse 7. This is going into the one-third, which is the elect, the men, women, and children whom the Lord is going to show mercy to, that, 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 that remnant. All right? The scriptures say, though the, 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 the children of Israel... Be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. That remnant is going into the elect, which is predestination before the, predestinated before the foundation of the world to see the Lord's salvation. You see? So it says, uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay, so you, you believe it in your heart, Bashim, your Shai. Okay, your faith is going to automatically generate works going to cause you to do the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. You're going to give diligence to make your call in an election show. You're going to be giving attendance to reading. Okay, you're going to be ministering. You're going to be showing that brotherly love. You're going to be uh, uh, um, you're going to be giving alms. You're going to be, be charitable. These type of things. Okay? To the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem It says verse 8, shall be preserved, okay, the, the believers, the elect, shall be preserved from the said perils. Remember? And this no also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Remember perilous means dangerous, savage, fierce. That time is the time that we're in. It says shall be preserved from the said perils. The Lord is going to save. The Lord is going to deliver. The Lord is going to preserve. All right? Is elect during these times. It says, shall be preserved from the set perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, predestinated the Lord. So he has sanctified them unto himself from the beginning, man, before the foundation of the world. The elect is predestinated. All right. I don't want to say I pray to let them have that uh, uh, precious number because that's a precious number. The, the, the one third, the elect, man. OK, now it says verse Nine. This is going into the two-thirds, man. Those that are going to be punished because they, they, they choose not to repent. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case. Right? As a matter of fact, I'm going to jump and come right back to that. Let me go to 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter to prove that. All right? 2nd Ezra, chapter... Uh, okay. 2nd Ezra, chapter 16... I start at verse 17. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? This is speaking of the times of trouble that's ahead of us. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. All right? The beginning of evils, meaning bad times. This is, that's, what's, that's what's coming. What shall I do when these evils shall come? See? The prophet Ezra saw this through the spirit in a vision. The time that we're coming in, that is going to be so bad. He said, who's going to deliver him in those days? See, you're going to need a savior. And that's how it's shy. That's who's coming to save. Right? It says, behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for an amendment. 
You see? It says, this is the point, verse 20, but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge, you see? So two-thirds of our people still ain't going to turn from their wickedness to the point that they're going to be judged. Okay? Uh, second address, it's like you, uh, Isaiah, the sixth chapter and 11 verse, go into it. Because Proverbs, the first chapter, all right, and the 22nd verse say, how long, uh, how long, you simple ones, would you love simplicity? Roughly paraphrasing, and fools hate knowledge, right? Roughly paraphrasing. And, and Isaiah, the sixth chapter and 11 verse says, until the missiles come, roughly paraphrasing, man, until the land be laid desolate, okay? Meaning, until the missiles are shut off, which is going to create the lake of fire in Babylon, man, the, uh, the, the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. Okay? That's how long they're going to remain simple and doing want to repent and turn back to the Lord. You see? It says, But all for, for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Now we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter. Right? And the ninth verse. And it says, It says, It says, then they shall be in pitiful cage, which now have abused my ways, and that have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments. Okay? Yeah. You living it up now. You living your best life. You partying. You doing all of this stuff. But bad times, evil times are coming, man. Right? It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, meaning the Heavenly Father. You receive all these benefits from the Lord. You have a work, you have a job, you have your, your limbs, your hand, your foot, you have life. You receive benefits of the Lord, but you still ain't praising the Lord. You still ain't seeking Him, right? It says, and they that have lost my law while they yet had liberty. You have this great spirit to seek the Lord and get your house in order, right? It says, and when a yet place of repentance was open unto them, Right, the, pro the prophets on the highways and the byways tend you to repent and seek the Lord, turn back to Him. Right? It says, understood it, understood. It says, understood not, but despised it. You despise the word of the Lord, and this is the point, verse twelve. It says, the same must know, the same must know it after death by pain. So a lot of our people are going to be judged, man. During Jacob's trouble. Now let's go to that. Let's go to Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah. All right. This is speaking of a time that's going to be so bad that we're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need the Lord to come and deliver his people. Man. The Lord is going to send the archangel Michael to stand up for his people. That's how, that's how bad of a time it's going to be. Okay? Well, let's get Jeremiah. Remember, a sword is being sharpened to put into the hands of the slayer. And remember, it's the Esau. All right? All right? Uh, 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 the wicked, so-called white man. He is the sword of the Lord. Okay, uh, Psalm 17 and verse 13 tell you that. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 13. Salakia chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. I'll start at verse 4. It says, uh, And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. This is the time that we're coming into men being as women. Okay? Because they're in fear of the things that they've seen. Alright? It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Okay? If, if men are going to be as women in that day, I can imagine what women are going to be Okay, the, it, a great humbling is coming to you, woman, man. You woman that's not in order and don't want to get in order and don't want to get behind your man, don't want to get behind your husband. You're going to be greatly humbled in the times that we're coming into because it's going to be a doggy dog world. You're going to see the raw nature of, of human beings, man, in the times that we're coming into. Okay, so it's best for you to get behind your husband and start showing that reverence, okay, in these times. And start repenting and turning back to the Lord. Start turning back to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because we're coming into some serious times. It says, uh, It says, uh, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Now ask yourself, who's Jacob? Jacob is the, the progenitor, all right? The progenitor or the patriarch of the 12 tribes, all right? Uh, uh, of Israel, man. 
okay? That's where the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are the Israelites. The Bible coined a time of Jacob's trouble, a time of trouble for you, man. Okay? Serious trouble. That's what's coming. All right? So you might be partying and stuff right now. Yeah. All right? <laughs> yeah. Fun and games now. But bad times is coming, man. All right? That's what's coming. Bad times is coming, man. All right? So at last for that day is great. So that none is like it. So this time, what it's telling you about, nothing could be compared to this time that is approaching. Nothing in history. No world, none of the world wars. Okay, uh, 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 slavery. None of these things that's, that happened on the earth before. These ethnic cleansing, all the atrocities you could think of. They be, they, they're not going to be able to compare to what's about to happen, man. This is why you need to seek the Lord. Because at the end of the day, it's the Lord who's bringing the judgment. So if you want to be shown His mercy, you better be on His right side. Okay? So it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Right? It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it, man. All right? Because the Lord is going to send the archangel Michael. Right? The Lord said, in our, 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 it's going to be so bad, right? He said, except, except those days be shortened. Matthew, the 24th chapter, he said, except those days be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved, man. So if the Lord doesn't shorten these days, he's shortening, he's shortening the days for the elect's sake. That's how bad of a time that's, it's going to be. And when you go here to Daniel, Daniel, the uh, 12th chapter, right? Let's go to Daniel, Daniel chapter 12. Right? The book of Daniel. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12. Right? Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 1. And it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. See how that links up? With, 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 with Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and the 7th verse, a time like never before. You see? And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people, meaning the elect, shall be delivered, the one-third, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So the Lord is going to send the archangel, Michael, okay, to stand up, man. All right? <laughs> for the children of Israel, man, for the elect. Okay? So even though it's going to be a time of great trouble and distress in the earth, all right, the scriptures say you're going to be, uh, the righteous are going to be safe, uh, uh, going to be uh, uh, scarcely safe. But it's by way of tribulation that you're going to enter in the kingdom. The scriptures say, uh, Acts chapter 14, verse 22, concerning the souls, all right, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we through much tribulation shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High. See? The archangel Michael is going to have to stand up, man. Yahweh Shai is coming to save. That's his name, which is the Norman Omen. That's what uh, the angel Gabriel told Mary and Joseph. She's going to she gonna, uh, conceive and have a son. And his name shall be called Yahweh Shai. Okay, right? His name is a Norman Omen predicting, which is a, a name prediction for, 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 for what he's going to do in the future, man. Okay? Yah means he. How shy means he saved or delivers. He's coming to save his people. You see, those that are written in the book. The archangel Michael is going to be uh, 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 standing up for the elect, man. In this time, because it's going to be, we're going to need divine intervention because we are as worms. Okay? So, knowing that, man, what manner of person ought you to be? <laughs> shall, shall, shall you then make mirth? Okay? Knowing that a sword is being sharpened, uh, Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. Okay? Beginning at the ninth verse, it speaks about a sword is being sharpened. Okay? 
uh, Isaiah, uh, what's that? Isaiah, the 65th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse, we speak about, speaks about these are they that forsake the Lord and prepare a table for that troop. A lot of our people forsake the Lord. That's why the Lord say he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna, uh, 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 he basically gonna turn you over to the enemy, man, and, and charge the enemy and give him, give him a number, and, and you, you gonna bow down to the slaughter, man, because the Lord say when he call. You 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 forsake him calling onto you, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Right, as a matter of fact, let me just go to that real quick and bring that out. This is the book of uh let's go to it. Isaiah. See, because the Lord calling unto you, he have his hand stretched out to you through the to the prophets and through the men of the Lord. But a lot of our people uh are, 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 are not regarding the Lord, man. You see? And that's gonna be a lot of people downfall. They're gonna have to pay. Okay, you you gonna have to pay for shucking the shoulder and brushing off the Lord, and not taking heed to His words, man. The, the scripture says Psalms, uh, 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 one nineteen and, and nine verse. Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto there unto thy word. You gotta take on heed unto the word of the Lord because the word of the Lord is faithful and true. How he said and shall he not do it? Shall he not make it good? The Lord is not a man that he should lie, not a son of man that he should repent, man. Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. You see? He's going to make do on his word, man. Okay? Isaiah 55 and 11. <clears throat> so shall my word be that shall, uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing the words of the Lord, it doesn't return unto him void, man. But this is uh, Isaiah 65, verse 11. It says, But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Okay, the Lord didn't delight in the things that you choose, man. And that's why we tell you to choose life. Repent and turn back to the Lord. Okay, the Lord ain't dealing with no gray areas. You got to turn to him with your whole heart and sincerity and truth. The most I try, the reins of the heart, man. So he know whether you're being sincere, sincere or not. So turn to the Lord, repent in all truth and sincerity, man. Okay, and put off that, put off the, 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 the put off the, uh, the flesh and walk in the spirit, man. You see? So, ain't no time to be in that Bacchus, uh, uh, party, party, party spirit, man. Because <clears throat> a lot of people are going to get caught up in that. So yeah, fun and, it's all fun and games now. But guess what? Bad times are coming. Evil times are coming, man. So you better uh, put on the spirit of discernment and know what time you're in. Know the time of your, vi of your visitation, man. Okay? Be able to discern. Okay? The times that you're living in, repent and turn to the Lord because the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's the message. I'm going to left it there. I'm going to leave it there, Lord willing, you were edified, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwadash, that were honest to the elders, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me the truth of Ruel. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.